My name is DJ and I am a stand-up comedian. I make a conscious effort to not do only Harry and Night jokes. That would get old so quick for me and for the audience. But I also don't want to do like a full hour without talking about my hearing aids because then people will be like, when is this guy going to mention those things that we can all see? If anything, it kind of gives me a unique point of view that many other comedians and people in general don't really have. So it's kind of a cool gift that I can really explore uh, on stage. Laughter is the best sound. I love hearing it roll in. That's my favorite part of stand-up. There's really no feeling, really no sound like it. And I take my hearing aids out when I get a haircut, like, um, I, I wear hearing aids by the way. Uh, I'm sure you saw them, right? If you didn't get your eyes checked. <laughs> hearing aids are kind of opposite of what we're taught to think, but uh, smaller is better. Just from an aesthetic perspective, I'm excited about this new look I'm rocking. I hope, you know, some of my friends see me and they're like, I'm looking good, bro. My hearing loss is very profound in the high frequencies. Sorry, I'm just gonna vape here. Um, not a vape, it's a Roger pen. I'm kind of the most thankful when I do hear a high frequency. Like if I'm out walking and I actually hear a bird chirping or even when I hear the kettle whistling. These are the sounds that I actually kind of get excited about. I think being bold means really thinking about what it is that you want to do and what you'll derive the most happiness from and going in that direction no matter what happens. I'm just a dude who happened to wear hearing aids. I think I would have become a comedian no matter what, and it just so happened to have this kind of unique thing that colors my whole life, but I've kind of grown to love it. I, I couldn't imagine life without my hearing aids. It's cool to be different. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I don't know. Who wants to be the same as everybody else?